Okay. So our uh, signed engineer, um, and this is the only episode where we do have one, uh, James has asked a, a great question, which is, why do comets have tails, right. and why do you get two of them? Right. So, so I don't know a whole lot about comets, but uh, my understanding is that the the two comet there are two comet tails, and one of them is dust coming off the comet, basically like rocky material. The other one is ice, and um, and the or I guess maybe water. I don't know. It's being sublimated off yep. the comet. And the 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 cool thing about comet tails one is that they're not always at the same place. They can be sort of at some angle mm -hmm. due to some kind of magnetic field effect. I think. Um, and they're blown off by the by the solar wind. So um, so the comet tails always point away from the sun. They don't actually. They're not like trailing the comet necessarily. Yeah. Like they can be going perpendicular or something, depending on how the comet is moving. Mm -hmm. So they're always going to be pointing away from the sun. Um, yeah. And uh, so it, it they look like you know it looks like when you see a picture of a, like a drawing of a comet, it's yeah, also always it's like trailing, the it? the comet's going and there's a tail behind it but that's not that's not how it works so mm -hmm. the comet is this like sort of icy snowball thing or like rock a uh, dirty snowball and it's just stuff being sort of ablated off of the comet mm -hmm. when it gets too close to the sun starts yeah. getting close to the sun yeah. Yeah. good answer cool <laughs> right. thanks James thank you <laughs> what is your favorite planet oh gosh um my favorite planet, other than Earth, my, my home. I never thought about Earth. Do you know, I'm not <laughs> once have I ever thought to answer it with Earth. I'm always like, oh man, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm partial to Mars. Um, it's, I, uh, I, have, I have Mars on my, on my phone background. Huh. Um, but uh, I don't know. Um, I mean, Mars is, Mars is accessible in the sense that like, we could go there. I would like to go there. That would be that mm -hmm. would be amazing. Um, so yeah, I think I'd have to say Mars. Okay. Just just as you know, sort of a vacation spot. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay. What yeah. about you? Uh, I'm gonna say Earth now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Before that, Jupiter. It's just got Jupiter. some really funky stuff. But you can't hang out at Jupiter. Yeah, but moons, you know, it's got potentially a core that's, you know, a giant diamond in the center, you know, a trillion carat diamond potentially. There's hydrogen that's crushed so dense that it becomes a superconductor, super metallic hydrogen. Okay. There are all the funky moons around it. There's booming radio signals coming off of Jupiter. Um, it's got this hurricane that's been going for 400 years at least. It's bigger than the Earth. Okay. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff to like. You make Jupiter. a good case for sure. I thought so, right? Yeah, yeah it's good. Yeah. It's the king of the planets. Yeah, Saturn's pretty cool too. Yeah. Right. Saturn's just like a pretty boy. <laughs> it's got these rings, but that's all it's yeah. got going. Dark pretty boys. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, let me see. I'll ask you one more. Um, let's see. Uh, what happened before the Big Bang? That's so mean. Uh, this is a question time. I get a lot. Um, yeah. Look, there's a couple of possibilities. Um, about 20 years ago, uh, astronomers, well, potentially believed at least, that the universe would expand. Eventually, gravity from all the galaxies would um, take over and start to uh, pull the universe back together, and you'd get a big crunch. Yeah. And that big crunch would then boom and there's your big bang of the next universe. So that was a cyclical universe. Thanks to dark energy pushing things away. Thanks, Brian. She made away. Um, it's all his fault. It's all his fault. Uh, that's never going to happen, or at least not at current uh, trajectory. So I don't know. Is the simple answer? And uh, no one else does either, if they're being honest. Um, but there's a lot of science fiction books, or yeah. actual science fiction, actual science novels. <laughs> Uh, where claims are made, but uh, yeah. I think fundamentally we just can't know that. Yeah, because if, if there's a singularity, you can't see before that. So that's it. All the physics yeah. breaks down. There, there are ways we can look for signs of like collisions with other universes and stuff like yeah. that. But yeah, in the cosmic microwave background. Yeah, yeah. but those are pretty good. Look, I mean, it's nice to try, yeah. but I think um, to say we have anything more than a vague, cool idea. Yeah. Is is you know. Yeah. Dodgy. Would agree. you agree? Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. I think I think it's uh, you know, I think we should keep trying to figure it out. 
but yeah. we, the ARC we, we don't keep know. funding that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Toronto acquisitions? Yeah. Well, yeah. All, All right. right. Cool. So uh, if you guys have other questions, uh, send them to us. Uh, Twitter, Astro Katie and Astro Duff. Yeah. Uh, we'll try and answer them. Yeah. Um, I'm sure they're going to be better than the ones we've come <laughs> up with. Um, but we really do uh, enjoy reading the questions. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, just keep tuned. Like this. Cool. Great. See you next time. See you later.